This new album's called Distilled because of the way that I've kind of, it's like a comment on the creative process that I've used where um, kind of embracing kind of sampling um, and kind of DJ culture in that respect but I kind of sample my own music so I write music and I sample the best bit of that music and delete the rest and then that then becomes this, like a nucleus to start a piece of music from and then write more music, sample the best bit, delete the rest and then over a process of time you have this distillation of all these ideas coming together to create something that's, you know, I think is what's the best that I can get it. The kind of music that I've written on this, you know, it is loop based and it is layered music but it's kind of and it's very tonal music it doesn't really move around harmonically you know it's like so it's kind of then you, you simplify all those elements so you create repetitive music you create tonal music you're not using modulation to create effects colors tensions in the music so then it's like well how do you then create all those things that are an important part of music you know like creating tension and creating dynamic shifts you know so how do you do that in tonal repetitive music so that this album has been quite a good adventure for that, you know, in terms of how <clears throat> how to use the improvising to create those kind of builds, to use the composition to create those builds. It's a never-ending question, isn't it? What is jazz? Is it jazz? I don't really care anymore. You know, it's just like the thing that's important to me is that it sounds original. Um, you know, the things that tie it to jazz is instrumental music with improvising. So people will think, well, it's jazz. You know, but that's just one part of it. You know, it's totally composed. You know, the stuff that's going on behind the improvising is completely composed and structured like a classical piece of music. You know, the beats that are written, you know, drum beats are written and um, so it's kind of like it's incorporating kind of the beat based music, you know, like your kind of sample based music. Um, it's repetitive, um, so it's kind of embracing again the sample based dance kind of mm -hmm. element, mm -hmm. but it's not that. It's not classical, it's not jazz. So you just, it's, you know, it's got, you just got to make your own mind up, haven't you? That's, that's not my job. My job is just to create something that I'm happy with and that for me doesn't stick to anything in particular. Linda's just an amazing friend and spirit and um, inspiration, you know, someone who gives you those permission slips to, just for ultimate freedom, you know, to do whatever you want and will just encourage that at all times. Um, and 
yeah, I've done quite a lot of stuff with Linda, doing her stuff. So kind of doing performance pieces. We did some stuff at the Tate as part of Glasgow International Festival and another couple of uh, places down in London. And it was great, you know, really inspiring and just freedom, you know, like it's kind of like free jazz, but like mm. that kind of attitude of freedom. But but she was incorporating dance and costume design and also, you know, sound lighting. You know, it was amazing. So to then bring her into this process for the launch um, just seemed like the right thing to do mm -hmm. for us to kind of continue these collaborations. But then. This time, it's she's collaborating on my thing, so it'll be interesting to see what she comes up with. But I don't, I've not seen any of it yet. So. I find that it's quite interesting to try and think about what permission slips can you give to yourself. You know, <laughs> say yes, you can do that. It's okay. Do you know what I mean? Just <laughs> let go of all that baggage that you carry around with you about what you think you should be doing. You know, and then just do what you want to do.